Hi there! In this video we are going to look at another H5P's feature which is drag and drop. As any other features of a H5P, this one also promotes active learning. If we look at the feature from the perspective of Bloom's taxonomy, we can say that it can cover first four levels, namely remembering, understanding, applying and analyzing. For example, for remembering you can ask uh, learners to match definitions with uh, correct terms. For understanding they can categorize objects or arrange items in a logical sequences. By organizing objects appropriately they can apply their knowledge and skills to solve or complete uh, tasks. By sorting out and classifying objects learners can break down complex information into manageable parts, facilitating analysis and uh, evaluation. So uh, let's imagine I want to make sure that my students understood the topic of animal classification. Specifically, I want to know if they understand the differences between herbivores and carnivores. So let's try out the feature using this example. Okay, so we follow our usual step, adding an activity h5p interaction and here i write drag and drop so first you can choose your background image i already downloaded all the images that i need so i'll take background and then we move to the next step so first thing first we need to place our drop zones i will create two one for herbivores and one for carnivores adding the labeling it carnivores also i want the zone to show the label so i click here and done next you can just uh, uh, copy put the second and then we edit and here instead of carnivore i put herbivores and done so right now our drop zones are covering the background i want my background to be visible so what i do is that i'll reduce the background opacity for 50 and i'll do the same here next step is to providing a set of animal images so i add the image here for the selecting drop zones i'll select both of them so learners will be able to put them in the both sections so we have fox over here and then the next Okay, uh, next I'm going to back to the drop zone and here now we see all the elements. Uh, so now it is the moment when I can uh, select correct elements. I quickly tick and done. Same here and done. The title, animal classification proceed to save and save and return to the course so here we go now we can check the results we quickly just drag and drop everything and check it yeah it's working you can also make it auto align when you choose the auto align they'll automatically be aligned okay so this is the one way of using drag and drop feature uh, you can you can use it to replicate a chemistry lab for example and uh, ask learners to uh, organize um, equipment it can be used for timeline creation uh, puzzle solving sentence formation image sequencing uh, storytelling and data visualization building structures and so on so the only limitation here is actually our imagination hope this video was uh, useful and informative if so don't forget to hit the like button and uh, share in comments how would you use drag and drop in your course thanks for watching and until next time